Hi, it's Yaakov from gypsyandjazz.com and in this free lesson I want to combine a few aspects of playing music. One is the technique. I will show you the rest stroke picking. And the second thing is the arpeggios. The rest stroke picking is how to play, how I play my music. And the arpeggios is what to play. What note can I play over each chord? Now, there are a lot of arpeggios because there are a lot of chords. Arpeggios is just to take the chords and play their note, but as a single note, it's not together. I will take minor 9 arpeggio, let's say E minor 9. I really like the sound of this arpeggio. And I will show you how I play the technique with this uh, arpeggio. And the next thing we are going to do is I will give you like a guideline how to master all the arpeggios. In my course of arpeggios, I'm talking about 75 arpeggios that cover all the arpeggios you need to know. And I give a method how you can learn and master them. So in the middle of improvisation, you cannot think where to play. Your fingers must flow. So I show how to build this flow and I will talk about it soon. So first, let's see the arpeggio with the technique. So the rest stroke technique is the technique we use in Gypsy Jazz. Is to play down from the elbow and up from the wrist. So my first note in E is open E, I play from the elbow and then the next note is the 9, E, F sharp, it's the 9, 9 or 2, it's the same thing. I want to show you a minor 9 arpeggio, so 1, 2, and then you play the 2 with your wrist. You see, I don't play it like this, 1, 2, no, that's not good, 1, 2, and then flat 3, because it's minor, it's here. E, F sharp, G. So down with your elbow, up with your wrist, down with your elbow. Next note is the fifth degree here. B. Now, a very important thing in the rest stroke picking that each new string we start with a down stroke. So I have down, up, down, down. But this is a very, very special down. It's a sweep. If I finished my first string with a down stroke and I want to play down stroke again, I play sweep. It means I don't do down, down. I do down, sweep. From my elbow, I push. See the difference between playing down and dress, down and dress, down and dress, and playing down, sweep, 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 sweep. It's the same movement but separated. So you have down, up, down, sweep, and sweep again. And we are in the root again. Down, up, down, sweep, sweep. Now we do the same because this is one, two, flat three, one, two, flat three. Five, one, and you have down, up from the wrist, down, sweep, sweep. All right. So all together, and make sure you make the difference between the down stroke with it from the elbow and the up stroke from the wrist. It's very important. Down. Now as weird as it would see, I will show you how to play it with two fingers, like Django Reinhardt did. And if you get used to it, it's very easy. From here, I want to play again, one, two, flat, three, five. The same shape. One, two, flat, three, five. But the finger I will use, we finished here. So I'm still with this finger. One, two, 
flat three and five. So all together it's down, up, down, sweep, sweep, up. for the last note and then you get now I play when I played back I changed the position a little bit instead of coming to this E I'm here down up down up down on the third string and then I have it the same shape you see B G F sharp E down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And again the same thing. Up, down, up, down. And you get the all arpeggio. Now, if you are have a song in E minor. And you want to improvise over this uh, this arpeggio. Of course, you don't have to play the same thing over and over and over again, right? You can make breaks. that if we take minor swing so you have a minor you can play a minor the same thing we played over e minor you can do for a minor and then for d minor or here and for e you can play like a diminished arpeggio and you can combine the arpeggios to a complete solo. A minor, D minor, E, A minor, D minor, A minor. Okay, so if you learn the arpeggio, And you see that from playing the arpeggio, you can practice your rest stroke technique. What you need to do in order to learn a lot of arpeggios is to see after you learn it by heart, you made a list with, with arpeggios that you know by heart, that you already memorized. And then you play it every day. So if you take this arpeggio and you play it every day, one minute, just one minute a day, it's okay. And then you add one more arpeggio. And then you have two. So we have two minutes a day. And then you had three and four. And eventually you get to have 75 arpeggios. And you do it every day. So it's 75 minutes a day. It's too much. So you can play eventually only 20 seconds for each arpeggio. Now 20 seconds, it's not, you know, it's something. It's, it's time. If you take an arpeggio. <laughs> what 20 seconds are you can also change between these so you play 20 seconds 75 different arpeggios every day after a few months you have your own vocabulary of arpeggios that you can build beautiful solos with there is a song called Kalisara this is A minor, E minor that goes to A minor. I played the same arpeggio of A minor and I made an improvisation of it. B7. B7 arpeggio. A minor arpeggio. A minor 6. B7 
So you see, you can just learn a few arpeggios and play chords, even you know in Rabato without time feel, and improvise over those chords. Mm -hmm. 